convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height or depth, nor anything else in creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Hello, gifted podcast listener. You are loved by the biggest force on earth. We are very excited to have you on this platform. The purpose of this podcast is to bring God's word to encourage you and help you to overcome. We encourage you to spread the word to family and friends by sharing the audio or the video clip on your social media platforms. Invite your friends to join the group as well. Now, without wasting any more time, let's get into the word with Pastor to Kwame. God bless you. I am Stephanie and I will catch up with y'all later. Pray for me as I pray for you. Father, we thank you for this Friday. We thank you for life itself. We thank you for your goodness and your mercy. We thank you for how far you brought us. We thank you for all the things that you do in our lives. We are forever grateful. We are saying that you are with us. We are saying that you are preserving us day by day we are saying that you go with us and you come with us i'm praying for you child of god that you will continue to see god's favor on your life in terms of your health i pray for longevity of life i pray for goodness and mercy to follow you i pray for favor to locate you and i pray for strength in time of need in jesus mighty name amen and amen um it's friday so can we talk a little bit um i want us to talk no preaching just talk but i want us to use this scripture for us to talk the book of ecclesiastes is a very interesting book the book of ecclesiastes is a one-sided book in other words solomon is looking at life on one side without adding eternity without adding the afterlife he is just doing a good um exposition of life only on this side you know and if you if you do, if you take a picture of this life only without adding the afterlife without adding generations to come then life is very funny looking and in that he points out a lot of interesting things and i want to take one of those interesting things and then we're going to talk about it and i believe it's helpful so Solomon says in the book of ecclesiastes chapter number eight verse i mean seven verse eight he says finishing is better than starting patience is better than pride finishing is better than starting patient is better than pride all right um so in the jewish writings there's a particular style of writing especially in the wisdom books that helps you appreciate the thirst i mean the test so the style of writing is called parallel where the first sentence and the second ten sentence are kind of parallel and the the second sentence and reinforce and throw more light into the first sentence to give it impact and so that's what is happening here and so i want to show you the two things that is happening that we are going to talk about so the first thing you, obviously you get out of it is the fact that better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof that's how the king james will say in other words the end of a thing is more important than the beginning and that is kind of the first thing you get but it's a connection with pride and patience that i'm trying to uh, show you and then we're going to base on that to talk what i want to talk about is how to start well and also finish well how to start well and also finish well so we understand that finishing well is more important than starting well but we want to focus on today on how to start well and also finish well but we did and within this verse solomon gives you the code or the secret code on how to start well and how to finish well so i want to crack the code and then we're going to sit and talk about each of them there are two quotes in there so based on jewish writing of parallel you take the 
beginning and you connect it with pride and you take the end and you connect it with patience so when you put pride and beginning together you get one code when you put the end and patience you get another code now i'm going to show you the two codes and then we're going to sit and talk the first code is that if you're going to start well in life you have to lean on your pride side the word pride means you have to lean on your outward abilities you have to lean on your skill set your beauty your your the things that makes you come across as pride those are the things you must use to start things so that it will start well you understand so the first camp we'll be talking about is how are you developing your attractiveness how are you developing your attractiveness you understand that's what we're going to explore today because that is how you start well and then he says when it comes to finishing with the second code which is the code of character and virtue so it says but to finish well you must have character in place you must have um patience endurance and all of those qualities that makes you stand the test of time but the point i want to understand is that without a good start you may not even start at all so before we go into this conversation i want you to know unfortunately that nobody will marry you because you have character I'm not going to talk about marriage, but I'm using it to make a point. Nobody will marry you because you have character. Everybody will marry you because you are attractive. Do you understand? Character plays out after a while when you have been with a person. You can't tell the character of a person by looking at the person. But you can tell the attractiveness of a person by looking at the person. So for you to think that you're going to be married because of character... It may not happen. For you to know the character of a person, you have to live with a person for a good two to three years so you can measure character. You follow? So when it comes to starting, when it comes to being sought after, when it comes to initiating, when it comes to getting in, your character may not help you. Stay in, your character will help you. Getting in, it is your pride, your charisma, that will get you in so i want to talk about how you should work on both sides this friday that's what i want to talk to you about start well and finish well so let's begin by just having this conversation about starting well so (laughs) i'm in trouble i have a very beautiful daughter on this platform and in as a joke we're talking and then i was like why have you kind of step your game down in terms of looking good and talking good and all of that and as i pass i'm tired i keep doing all of that and nothing is happening so let me just relax you know when you relax you are think you are you're assuming that there's another way to start things you know what i'm saying the point solomon is saying is that the only way to start things for only way to make things happen is to work on your attractiveness so when you get tired of being attractive you are telling me that there's another way to get things done which there isn't any other way nobody will come and marry you nobody will come and hire you nobody will come and um show interest in you nobody will give you a job nobody will give you anything if you don't come across as attractive What I I have never interviewed for a job that I have not gotten it. Even though when I go to the job, sometimes I have no idea what I'm doing. You understand what I'm saying? God has blessed me on how to talk. So you know I will bring it in now. I talk hard and the people look at me and say, Hey, this boy can talk. And so every interview I go, I impress them. Five weeks into the job, I, have, I don't know what I'm doing. So the point is that, so you have to, work on what makes you attractive if something will start in your life and and i guess all of you are doing it but what i'm saying is that don't stop because that is how things start don't stop looking good don't stop doing good don't stop don't stop that's the first point when it comes to the first code to start well you must look attractive 
And you don't have to go too far to know that. That is how God has designed everything. If you see the birds and the pollination, it is a oh my science has come it is a, the flower peckle that attract the bee all of that is in nature already you understand so don't get tired in looking attractive that's the first point another point under the first code is also lean on your talent you understand lean on your don't do things because others are doing it do it because you know how to do it and it's your thing because i like talking some people say hey he's how is he because i like talking that's why i'm able to do podcasts i like talking i'm leaning on my strength you understand you can start things like that if you lean on your strength if you know how to cook use it to attract somebody in your life if you know how to do something, use it to attract people. Lean on your strength. The word pride has to do with things that makes you f- come across as arrogant because you are good at it. That is how you start things well. I was going to surprise the podcast group by playing uh, maybe one minute of my song with my pastor friend. The superstar, Pastor Ni Okai. I guess I, it will come out on my birthday, but I will show, I will play it a little bit here before. So, in the course of producing the song, he said, "I don't like the way you are delivering." He, he told me, "Your talking is more pretty than your singing, so talk more in the song." <laughs> I was funny, and and so I said, "Yes, sir, I'm going to talk now." What thing he said was that he says for every song the first five to ten seconds is everything so we had to make sure that the first five seconds of the song is everything for real you understand that so it also means that the first five seconds of your life of your starting is everything you follow so i just want you to keep shining the area you are good at you are going to be blessed by what you are good at you are going to be promoted by what you are good at you are going to be elevated by what you are good at if something is going to happen to you you must be good at it so one keep looking attractive two always lean towards what you are attracted to you understand because most people are waiting for people to see their qualities you know what you're attracted to good things take time but to start you have to start on your f- best foot forward all right so that is what i want to tell you because of time let me talk about how to end well then so how to start well start attractive start with what you are good at start with your strength if you're going to get anything going if you're going to start a business going to start a relationship going to start a church whatever you're going to start start a show whatever you're going to start make sure you look good and you also know what you are doing there's a guy called john maxwell He said, never waste your time learning what you are not good at. Never waste your time learning what you are not good at. You're like, what? How can he say that? Aren't we supposed to improve ourselves? He says, no. Work on what you are already good at. And let somebody who is good at what you are not good at handle what you are not good at. Because it's a waste of time to start learning how to play the piano when you are a good Bible teacher in a church. Find somebody who can play the piano and you focus on teaching the Bible. Because no matter how much you learn, you can never be as good as one who is good at it. It's a waste of time to develop your weakness. Now weakness as in character, weakness as in area that you are not good at. 
find somebody who's good at it and let them do that and you focus on what you are good at that's how you start well all right enough of that so to end well which is more important you have to understand that therefore it's not enough for me to look attractive i have to have what it takes to end well and ladies and gentlemen without character nobody can end well without character nobody will end i don't care how you start without character you will not end well without endurance you will not end well without patience you will never end well do you understand without this fruit of the spirit without qualities with these character qualities with these permanent qualities in your life it doesn't matter how you start you will not end well but i came to tell you work on both work on your beauty work on your character work on your skill work on your patience work on your heart work on your hands work on your head work on every area because for you to start well you need to look well for you to finish well you need to be well how you look matters how you talk matters how you behave matters your attitude matters you understand that so i just wanted to share that with you on this friday that all matters to f- summarize everything to finish well you must be a good person in character in patience in integrity in honesty in all of those good good characteristics you must have them else you will not end well you will not end well without those but having those alone you may never start at all because you have to be attractive you have to be lean on your 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 polish side your 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 good side lean on the side that makes you shine that's how you start amen so go and shine bright like a diamond father we thank you we bless you we honor you for who you are in jesus name amen